all right y'all hello welcome back well today i am getting in the front of the yard to install some new landscaping as you all know it is fall and you're probably wondering okay yeah she's about to get a nice little fall scape going on the porch whatever nope nope what i am doing is i am about to get my holiday christmas landscaping going and let me tell you why so when the holidays approach um this entire area is still green right it's it's all green but it doesn't scream holidays it doesn't scream christmas um and in my house we love christmas we love the holidays it's just it just is really really fun we do a lot of stuff we even take homeschooling off we're off to enjoy all of the festivities but when we come home our welcome is kind of drab and for the past years like probably 12 years I always decorate for fall and sadly a lot of times I become also disappointed with my fall decor because they are very short-lived moms do not last long which I'm pretty sure a lot of you may have already um, figured that out also moms don't last long and when you live in an area like mine which is very rural um, pumpkins and any type of um, hard vegetables also don't last long because you have animals that are running about at night time that like to partake in a little midnight snack so I am going to go ahead and install our holiday um, landscaping I have some flowers I have some plants and that are all different shapes and heights so we're going to do a lot of good textures um, we have a lot of really nice um, eye-catching things, some thrillers, some spillers, some fillers. Y'all, we about to get all the way up in here. Okay, to begin, I'm going to actually go ahead and start removing a lot of what we have left over from the summer. And I actually planted these very late, so that's why they're not super large, um, many people know, but marigolds can get really big and as you see they're still in the same shape from when i first planted them so you know i'm completely cool with removing these right now um i know they make a wonderful fall foliage but they're even dying back because of the coldness that we receive in the morning so this is this is actually really cool i'm thinking i'm going to leave the colo the colo cololius, I think that's how you pronounce it, cololius plants. Um, right now they just look like they're not watered and that can be remedied very easily. So just removing these marigolds out of here so I can make room for the new plants. Get this. get this wheelbarrow over here actually so I don't have to keep going back and forth to the trash all right so I have here all of my plants oh gosh I have here all of my plants that I'm going to use so right now what I'm gonna do I'm going to just cultivate the area just so I can break up any hard ground I know you would think I would use a shovel right here, but a cultivator can be your best friend. Um, Sometimes a shovel, a shovel creates more of a mess than what you expect or what you want. And so having, having a um, cultivator at hand can be very beneficial. Oh, we got a little lizard friend. He was camouflaged. Very good. Okay. So we got that. I think I'm going to do a roll back here. And I want to go with the shape of this bed. So that's really what I'm doing.
And then I'm gonna let these col colilas, whatever you call them, they, they're so hard to pronounce. Okay, now that I have kind of my layout planned and kind of mapped out, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some nutrients into my soil. Now my soil, I have been putting nutrients into this soil for approximately about two years. Um, so it is very dense in nutrients, um, nitrogen, phosphorus, um, and it also has some um, items in it like uh, ditromitous earth to help with any creepy crawlers that I don't want. Um, but I also like to add a little bit more of organic nitrogen. This is blood meal. Um, this is something that I use a lot. It, it promotes plant growth as well as um, helps with your roots to help stabilize your roots when you're doing any type of transplanting of plants, flowers, any type of thing like that. And so what I'm going to do is, and don't do what I'm doing, I'm actually going to put my hand in here. <laughs> um, but it's preferred that you use like a little cup of some sort, but I've been using this for uh, ages, probably, I don't know, 15 years now. But um, this has really helped. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make some sprinkles, nothing big because a little bit goes a long way. I mean, seriously, it goes a long way. And it kind of looks like dust. I don't even know if it's picking up on the camera but it really looks like dust but it's very good for your plant all right now that that is out the way it's time to go ahead and start planting
All right, so now what we're gonna do is, me and my assistant, we are going to um, do these planters. As you can see, same setup from the flower bed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these out and you're gonna just follow what I do, okay? Yeah. It's gonna get a little crowded because we're going to put five plants in, but as a rule of thumb, and we're doing this rule of thumb, but we just have a smaller space. As a rule of thumb, you always, whenever you're using a pot, any type of container, you always want to plant in an odd number. So as you see here, this is planted in a sets of three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant in a set of five. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the existing plants. <laughs> take out the existing plants. You yeah. try to leave as much soil as you can. Yeah, okay. just shake it a little bit. We can just sit them behind you if you want. Yep. And it's kind of dry because I have not been watering these as much as I would like to all right hi I'm also recording you are? I am I'm making a video <laughs> you yeah, are sit with the mommy I'm sitting with the mommy you got it Jack mm. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So you're just fluffing it up. Yep. You're mixing it around. You want to sit down with Zion? Okay. If you find any sticks like this, see, look, throw them out. Zion? Where you going, baby? Sit down. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. 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 Mm. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our Dusty Miller. And we are going to put this closer to the back. Yep, you take the pot out. Let me take the plant out the pot. Yep. And then we're going to kind of move towards the back. Mm hmm Yep. Kind of move your hand to Canaan. Make sure you're watching Zion. Yep. You move your hand in there so that it has some room. Okay. You guys go in the house. Thank you. You got your kiwi. Okay, go in the house. So does it gotta be like a little bit like out like this, like this, or does it gotta be more in or more up? Um, it's fine, just like where you at. Now make sure you did you did you uh, make the room for it to go in? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then kind of bring some soil around it. Okay, now next what we're going to do is we're going to take the viney. This is called the Muvlekia wire vine. I don't even know how to pronounce mm -hmm. that. Okay. Yep, just like that. Gently. Let me see. Here you hold mine. Whoa, it's still like. It's still moist? Yeah. Mm hmm. It was watered really well. It's not going to break. Okay. There we go. And we're going to do this in the front of that. And this is our spiller. So when this starts to grow, what's going to happen is these, the, the vine will spill out on the sides of the pot 
making a really beautiful decoration. Yeah. But for right now, it's still very small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, now we're going to grab our two violas. Good job, babe. Same way, nice and gentle. You may want to tip it up. Yep, good job. Tip it upside down. And we're going to go on the side, closer to, uh, closer to the vine. And add that. And it's getting tight, right? It's, it's starting to be like, oh, they're hugging in here. <laughs> they are hugging each other. Yeah, it is coming. It's coming together, huh? Then we're going to take the other one, dig really nice and deep so we can set that in there. What'd you say, babe? Okay. All right. Now we have those. All of those are going to be hugging the side of our container. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put our pansy, pansy in the oh, middle. Yeah. 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 So we kind of have two thrillers. So whenever you're doing a design for a pot or a container, whichever way you like to call it, oops, um, the design that really is show-stopping is thriller, spiller, and filler. That's, those are the three words to keep in mind whenever you're designing a container that is show-stopping. Okay. Were you able to snug it in there or do you need to dig any deeper? You got it? Okay. And there you have it. What'd you say, babe? Trying to make sure all the oil, the soil is Oh, okay. We're going to actually add some. I'm going to get some more of that top soil. We're going to put some in there. Just to make sure everything is adequately covered. Did I do mine right? Let me see, babe. You did a really good job. Very, very good job. All right. I'm going to drop some and use you, so you can spread it out. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I almost fell. Looks beautiful. Yeah. You like it? <laughs> you did a good job. All right. Well, guys, there you have it. We have completely did the porchscape for the holidays, actually, right in the middle of fall. But as I told you, it's completely worth it because everything that we planted will actually get larger and more taller and it will bloom all the way into spring so by Easter I'll be you know looking even more beautiful but I'll be ready to go ahead and plant take these out and plant something for the spring and the summer that's more aesthetically pleasing for the season all right until next time y'all thanks so much for tuning in to this video but until next time uh, I'll see y'all later bye